What's up, everybody? Good morning. It's your big homie, Breaking Bigfoot, aka Gonzo. So, today's topic is on jewelry. Right? Which part of this was, well, any of it was real. Well, technically, it's real because it's metal. Uh, but it ain't the fancy stuff. But that's okay. This is a. Uh, my dad's a boxing medal and uh, I'm a boxer uh, I ranked uh, professional but never went further because uh, yeah life happened and had to take care of personal matters and Deontay Wilder and didn't want to accept my challenge big old sissy I swear but whatever um, my grandfather was a boxer. My dad was a boxer. Runs in the family. We're good boxers. I don't like to fight, but I'm really good at punching. So, um, back to topic. Today's topic is Sasquatch wearing possibly jewelry. And uh, I have a picture. This is uh, from uh, the Lincoln, Can Lincoln County National Forest um, up in... If I am correct, uh, Bailey, no, not Bailey Canyon, it was in Turkey Canyon. <clears throat> Turkey Canyon, I believe, yes. And, uh, yeah, once again, I didn't see it until I got home and was researching through the photos and images and uh, saw what looked like a Bigfoot in the very side corner behind a tree uh, taking a step. Uh, the odd thing is, it looks like it's wearing jewelry, um, and it looks very native, uh, ceremonial, really cool. Um, I enhanced the heck out of it, so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Um, besides the jewelry, there's a Sasquatch, and he has a really coned head, like super coned head, really coned head. Um, the other picture that uh, has a possible necklace is... Uh, Mark Parra's and Susan Crone's image of uh, those two Sasquatch that I just did a video on, the bigger one, which I'll also post uh, in the series of pictures. So I'm going to do a little less talking, uh, well, of, with me showing me, and I'm going to move to the pictures so I could spend more time on the pictures and you guys can see the pictures uh, and study them better. So, um, yeah, here they are. Okay, so here we are in the very far left, very far left in the middle is where the Sasquatch is, okay? Um, here we go, zooming in. You can see it. I can see it clearly. Of course, not everybody will be able to. This is the original cropping I did out of the first time I found it. It was really dark, the image. I had to lighten it up some. And zooming in again so you can see it to the left in the middle. Uh, you already can see the eyes and uh, facial structure. I'm going to zoom in again right here. Remember, uh, if I'm going too fast with the transitions, just pause it. But like I said, you can see the nose, mouth, eyes. I outlined it, I colored the brown, the tree. I think the arm goes lower, but, because there's like foliage in the way, but it looks like it's taking a step. I lightened it up real good right there. You can see the necklace, eyes, nose, mouth. And uh, yeah, now it's gonna enhance that. And uh, I darkened, after lightning, I darkened around only the hair. I darkened the hair only. Left the necklace alone so it stands out more. And uh, there's the face. I'm giving you a good example of the face. I haven't done anything to the face. Uh, now I'm enhancing it, darkening it. And I used the lightning tool with the stylus and just lightened all over the necklace where I see pieces. 
separate pieces. Um, you can even see around the neck, it looks like string or something it tied it with together. But uh, here's a close up on what the necklace looked like to me. Okay, now I've lightened it up again. This is before I, uh, you know, focused on the necklace and, and uh, I'm going to isolate this now for you. I shaded, not shaded, but using the darkening tool, um, I enhanced the shadows in the body. Uh, now I got rid of everything around there and I added to the left side of the image, just the shoulder and arm continued it. Just so you can get a better idea of what it looks like possibly uh, as a whole. And now we're going to go a little bit more. That's, I added the necklace uh, enhanced. So you can see the necklace enhanced with the uh, yeah shadows intensified. Now this is the Pika Zap. I threw it in the Pika Zap and this is what came out of that. And there's one more version of... Uh, filter I used from the Pika's app that, like I said, it brings out more things that are there. It looks like something is hanging, I don't know if it's the hair or what, from its waist down. But here is a Mark Parra's and Susan Crone's image of the big Bigfoot. So you're going to see the progression of uh, me enhancing it. I darkened it up uh, and lightened up the necklace. Just, I don't think it's a stick or a branch. You know, in front of the, um, yeah, right here I kind of blurred it a little bit, so get rid of that pixelation. And then I threw it in the Pika app as well to see what it would bring out. And that's what it brought out. So, there you go, guys. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Like I always say, put them in the comments. Let me know uh, your thoughts. Like and subscribe. And uh, have a great day, great night, a great year. My uh, New Year's resolution is to make it to 2022 alive. Uh, somebody asked me, where do I see myself in 10 years? This is where I see myself in 10 years. Breaking Bigfoot out. Peace. Gonzo's chain is almost as cool as Heisen Squatch's. I said almost. <laughs>